A new light-based strategy designed to kill cancer is proving successful in animal studies at Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis. The technique is using light as a precision weapon against cancer cells that have spread in tissues deep inside the body. Hey guys, what are you working on? So we're measuring some ICG. Samuel Achillifu is using light to create an aggressive army of light-triggered nanoparticles to lead the attack against cancer cells. The professor of radiology and biomedical engineering has devised a way to apply his light strategy to deep tissues, never before accessible by light. Achillifu says light emitted from a common cancer imaging agent causes tumors to glow. That glow also triggers light-sensitive drugs to kill the cancer cells. He says it's all in the formulation. We've looked at different ways of delivering our light-sensitive drugs to cancer. The new formulation was a very cool part of nanomedicine where you, you can create small amounts of materials that are biologically acceptable, not toxic at all. And in the interior of that material, you can load up drugs into it. They are small enough to allow them to exit the blood vessels and find where the cancer cells are, and then activate themselves there. The stimulated intracellular light therapy works like this. Here is a simulation of cancer cells. And as you can see, it has certain expressions that we can target selectively. Uh, using our drug sensitive materials. And here are the drug sensitive materials that we then immediately come in, bind and internalize inside the cancer cells. And then once they are there inside the cancer cells, we then inject the radioactive material that we also find where the cancer cells are. And then once they enter into the cancer cells, they generate a specific type of light that then erupts and generates free radicals. And once these free radicals are generated, they start destroying the cancer cells. A chili food's technology uses a low dose of a material from a particular chemotherapy drug that works well when exposed to radiation emitted by visible light. We are not using them as chemotherapeutic drugs. We are just using the molecule because they are approved already. They are in the clinic already. And what we are trying to achieve here is to stimulate them and train them to behave differently. Uh, instead of being a chemotherapeutic where we need large concentrations to do its job, we are using very low concentration, very low dose of this material, and then we make them become active by interacting with this light within the cancer cells. Since healthy cells are spared, Achillifu says side effects experienced in today's chemotherapy treatments would no longer be an issue. We are reducing the amount of the drug to the extent that it has no effect at all on the patient. And then we are also reducing the amount of the radionuclide that acts as our light source to the point that we are not worried where it's present because it's not toxic at the levels we are using it. A chili foo has proven his research in mice, causing no harm to healthy cells and tissue. So far, the technique has worked effectively in mice with multiple myeloma and aggressive metastatic breast cancer. We wanted to make sure that the two components we need to stimulate toxicity inside the cancer cells, that they come together. And to do that, we are using imaging methods. The cancer cells light up to tell us that we've delivered enough material to enable us to stimulate cancer cell death. They can see the job getting done. By the time the therapy reaches the point of human clinical trials, he's confident the new light therapy injections will work. The beauty of it is that we don't need to see it. It finds the cancer cells. That's why we love it so much. It can be microscopic, it can be so small. We don't need to even know where they are for them to be killed selectively. He explains how light therapy would also trigger the body's immune response to more effectively and safely finish the job of eradicating cancer. So he expects it will become part of the future of immunotherapy. It hasn't reached the point of clinical trials yet, more needs to get done. Like any other thing, new inventions, innovation, it takes time to get to the human patient. We've identified 
one of the products that can be translated to the human patients. Um, but I've learned not to tell patients that this is ready. We are not ready for human trials yet um, until we go through all the safety requirements, toxicology studies, all of which are very expensive to do. Um, we, we are trying to raise funds to be able to do those studies down the line.